Last time we were consulting Terran in his office. I mean... Without a knife. Uh, um, it all sounds bad when it's only references. Good evening, Tom. Welcome. Anyway, what we did was we had a bit of a state of emergency in Mabe Village. As you can tell by the tense music. Where'd it go? Where's the music? There it is. Uh, but we decided to go fishing instead. But it paid off. Oh, sorry, Fox. Didn't realize you were there. Uh, this is, in fact, one of the games, uh, one of the Zelda games where you can attack the, the, uh, Kuchos. Or the Kukos, depending on your preferred pronunciation there. And they will uh, call their friends, and they will band and mass attack against you. That was something that a link to the way, uh, a link, a link to the past, <laughs> originated. Something else I noticed last time is that if we go in the well here, listen to the music here. It's still tense in the well. It's a very nice well. Apparently, I can't push stairs. Who knew? But then, if we leave, the music stops. And then when we get back out, it starts up again. So that seems a little strange. Let's talk to you again, figure out what's going on here. Oh, it's terrible, my Bow Wow has been... Dogged out by Moblins. Right. So... Not exactly sure where he's gone. Just that Moblins took it. Him. Hello. Yes, we know that's what you say. It's fine in here. I think Terran just gave us some advice about something or other. I don't remember what exactly it was. Oh yeah, Orira. Maybe that would be a good idea. If and we don't know. Hello, this is Orira. Well, most moblins live in the mysterious forest, but some live in the caves of Tal Tal Heights. I hope that is what you wanted to know. Telltale Heights. Uh, well, you'd think that would be, like, the, the northern area. But fortunately, we can check the atlas, right? Uh, it could be that Bow Wow is in the mysterious forest. Hey, dudes. I forget what you said. You guys okay? It's a really bad scene with the moblins, so I mean, ah, uh, might be faster find it. Right. All right. Thanks, guys. No. Where was the atlas? There it is. Telltale Tal Heights is way over there. I'm not sure if we can even get there, but we can try to go further through the... Well, you know what? We do have the, um... Rock's Feather now. So maybe if we go through the woods, we can find somewhere we haven't been. That actually seems correct. Hi, guys. Time to review our Moblin combating... protocols. where our old Terran raccoon friend was. Yeah, we came out of that log at one point as well. But we couldn't get any farther because we couldn't jump over anything. There we go. Now we can just freely go both ways, right? Hello. 
Kapamaka Swamp Mysterious Forest. Makes sense. Who's in here? Peppermint tea and a square of chocolate. It's hard to top that. Hello there. Yeah. Well, I pretty much stick to myself, me and my letters. My name's Wright. Uh, the only thing I don't like about my hobby is that I never receive a response. Well, this is obviously a reference. Um, look at this bird. Hello. Wish I could zoom in on ya. And this is a rather cluttered place, too. Oh, you came over to me. But I still can't lift these things. Hmm. Good bird. So, this is a, a reference to Sim City for the Super Nintendo. Mr. Wright was, I think... I never really played SimCity, but I think he was like the mayor or something. You know, puffy green hair. And it turns out, I just watched actually a quick review of SimCity and I heard this music in it. So this music is basically taken from SimCity. I didn't think Nintendo made this game, so you wouldn't expect it to show up in Link's Awakening, but uh, I don't know. This entire thing is like a dream of Link, right? The game is full of that kind of silliness, which I guess explains all the Mario characters too. Anyway, I guess that's all we can do here. It's cool all the books you have though. That's kind of fun. I guess we'll see you later. This gentle soul reminds me a bit of Lim Limbeck. That's quite understandable. Oh, we can't use stasis on these things. Did we find a secret seashell? We found one so far, yes. Hello. Stasis is always the answer. Except when running repeatedly into the same... Or boulders upon the same ramp is the answer. Which I'm sure is at least some of the time. It's a little late on that. I can't lift you, right? So I can't open this chest even though it looks so clearly like you could open it. But I'll take a piece of power. Do we get to keep it if we leave this cave? Can we go up here? Hello. This is the mountain range. All right. Music. Music. The fish stirs in the egg. You are there. Just kidding. Music. The fish stirs in the egg. You are there. That's cryptic and a bit pointed. Last. Overconfident. There's an Orira phone here too. Danger, keep out, except Bow Wow. Right, we've read that before. In fact, many people think that stasis isn't always the answer, and I have to humor those people. Well, it's very generous. It's nothing if not inclusive. Goodness. We've done that before, haven't we? Okay, so... Is this a good place for me to be right now? No pathway through here. Oh, although I can, if I can get past this fish, it's not gonna be easy. There we go. And I can get across at least. Man, this really feels like a swamp in this version. And I can't go over there. So I'd say that this has not been fruitful. No, we can get across, but we can't do anything. Mm. 
Would you say the fish are happy? This is hostile. Why am I doing it? Fish are always happy. Yes, I'm sure they are. Wonderful re will tell us something different. Nope. Thank you for your input, sir. How's the tea? Is it sufficiently soothing? been in there yet. It's delicious. That's very good to hear. We're going to need your assistance. I told you we'd be back. I said we'd mow your lawn as repayment. I did it last time, actually, but we'll do it again in advance for the next, the next healing. Ugh, sorry, sir. Just trying to get through. Lexi, did you miss the blob last time? The changed blob? Heal wounds and relieve stress. Ooh, looks like we have that at our disposal now. We're going to see the change blob again, regardless. I'm a change blob! And that's not all I have to say! It's hard to come up with a voice for this guy. Zen Koth is really a fan of this little dude. Look at him! Look at him go! <laughs> He's so perfectly realized. Ugh. I, I think he's still electric. Now that I have lips, I fantasize about playing one of this island's songs on a flute. There are three hot local hits. All three of those blobby bops are magic, literally. If no other two would do the job, pull out one of those songs you got stuck in your head. He had no mouth and he must play. Yes. He must give various advices. Okay, we can go this way. The graveyard. Every Zelda game needs a graveyard. Cemetery and Ukuku Prairie. Right. Hey, that actually rhymes, I just realized. Hello over there, whatever you are, sir. Oh man, look at you. Wow. Sorry about that. I want to calm your impetus just a bit. Move changes slightly. Yeah, okay, we're not going to venture into there yet because it's not quite necessary. We still have a heart piece to get. There's a single grave over there. What are you saying? Mambo's Pond. Mambo's Pond. And of course, Crazy Tracy. But we're not going there yet. Someday. Lexi, the fact that me, an overfed, long-haired, leaving gnome, should be the star of a Hollywood movie. That's what your blob voice reminds me of? Is that a quote from a movie? Anyway, looks like we've got four pieces of heart. The first time... There's our new heart container, ladies and gentlemen. It's a song. Okay. I guess I don't know that song. Which means I should be able to avoid copyright strikes. Because I certainly haven't sung the melody. Taltal Heights, this way, great. That is where, well, is, is this, this is Taltal Heights. We made it. Maybe Bow Wow is in there. Hello. The windfish in name only, for it is neither. Oh, it's not wind or a fish? I never understood that before, but that's at least a hypothesis. That's great. Yeah, this looks like a mobile in place. Well, hang in there, Bama. I know you can take care of yourself. 
You're close to Talta Heights. Dampe's Shack is nearby. Ooh. This is Dampe's Shack? <gasps> we have to go in. Dampe was introduced. He's the gravekeeper. He was introduced in Ocarina of Time. But he was added to this game as one of its new features. So let's check it out. It is a nice shack, isn't it? Look at it. Looks like cobbled together. Hey, Dampe. Wow, there's music in here. Huh? What are you doing here so early? You can't come in yet? I'm still setting up. Oh, okay. Can we take your shovel? It's really tempting, because we know that there's a shovel in this game. Are you familiar with Dompe? Mount Tamarank and Gaponga Swamp. Only about 10 seconds familiar. Aww. He's a nice fella. Eh? They can talk. Who's this suspicious looking runt? Okay, boys, let's get rid of him. Wanna try that again? How about one more time? This was obviously a much more prosperous era of Hyrule when shields and swords didn't break. They have cool fire. Hi, guys. Holy heck. We got the stakes here. I guess magic powder isn't doing much for us. Alright. We're gonna be a bit more aggressive here. We have one and a half hearts to do whatever this is. Hello. You must be an assassin sent by Madame Meow Meow to rescue the mutt. You came here to get me, but it is I who will get you. All right. Your aim is not spectacular. So lateral in his movement. There we are. You exploded, sir. I regret to inform you. There we go. Our first fairy. We still don't have much to work with. But I'm sure that will change over time. Hello! Hi, Bow Wow! What a fearsome beast. Woohoo! Alright, hopefully we'll be okay with him. Come on, Bow Wow. Let's get you out of here. Sounds like our owl friend. Where is he? There he is. That is a fearsome looking animal you have there. Do not forget, the next instrument is in Goponga Swamp. Well, yeah, we can go there now, now that we have this production assistant. Looks like we'll still have to go around to get to it, though. Which is good, because we can hit the fairy one more time, which we definitely have need of. 
Ooh, hello, sir. You have a fearsome beast to contend with now. Oh, and you even have the Donkey Kong Country Chomp. How about that? You're getting fed, hmm? You are a chain chomp, that's what you do. He's so swift about it, too. You okay there, bud? Oh, he says dig. Right here? Huh, okay. I didn't know you spoke English. Look at that, we've uncovered a whole stripe. The cemetery and Tolto Heights, and that area at the top left. We'll have this map clear in no time. Let's see. Uh, my point in doing this was to say that we should dig there. Do we get to take Bow out whatever, whenever we want? So he can tell us where to dig? Lexi says, what a talented chain chomp. Yeah, now we're getting swampish. Come on, Bow Wow. Maybe you don't want the fish, maybe you just want the flower things. You want the big one? Yep. There we go. You can have these, these ones too. Oof. And we're getting rich off of this, which is good. Speaking of rich, we now have 180 rupees to play with. Think of how much of the trendy game we could play. All right. There we go. We ate those in succession, sir. Are you going to stay out here if I have to go in, or are you going to come outside? There we go. Now we're all prepared. You can now buy a snazzy new outfit. That would be awfully cool. We haven't actually seen that, have we? Level 2, Bottle Grotto. Bottle Grotto. Bottle Grotto. Bottle Grotto. Well, we're not getting in there yet, but I think that's, that's a hint that we might make some progress on that this time. A dark room. There we go. Hello. Ooh. A lot happened there. Which way should we go with our key? I think we'll keep exploring. Crystal switch time. There's our owl with beak. And then we could go down here. Ooh. A deathly night. Uh-huh. Another key. We went sort of through a dark transition there. We went through a dark transition that day. A switch. A chest. Okay, then look at this. We have more keys than we know what to do with. Oh, we can't smash these either. Of course we can't. Hi, guys. This is clearly a... Bit of a puzzle. I have 
go back around to get that key? Perhaps? That's not gonna help us. Okay. Keep going for now. Should we go in here? We don't have a map, but we should be able to see what we've done so far. Oh, we could get that key. Maybe we should. Is it still there? Mm-hmm. It's just a short trip back, you know? Where the key put now? I don't know, maybe those opening areas are like just small rooms. They're not expenses, and we should do them first for efficiency. We still don't really have any projectiles or anything. Do we have to hit you in the back? We do. There be treasure in this room. And whatever it is, it has a new feature. Lexi says, you played this game in its original format. Yes, that is correct. Very much so. Wow, I smacked myself out of the room. We're getting serious now. Okay, I could light the torches. Do I need to, though? There's nothing for me. Hello. How are we going to deal with you exactly? We got our beak. That's what it was. That this all led up to. Okay. That was worth it then. I tried to jump. Using B, of course. You using B. Another circumferential fireball thing. Come on. We do still have a fairy on our side. I'm assuming it will spring to life if we die. Part of the floor is raised. Tap the shining crystal. Oh, that just tells us what the crystal switch is. All right. You're back. You're back. Blast. Oh, we were very forgiven. Are you through your tea, Lexi? Is it all over? Sir Circumferential Fireball thing. It's a very fine name. Not completely. The owl says, make every block design the same, a new path will open. Oh, it's still warm and pepperminty. You still have your tea. That's good. All right. Every block design the same. These look like they should be pushed inwards towards each other. Aha. Not very surprising, really. Come on, underground lateral jumping link. Let's do our underground lateral jumping thing. There you go, my lad. <laughs> Just what we needed. Oh, hello. Just what we didn't need, dude. 
Let's see. Once again, I don't know if we need to light these torches. Because we have a perfectly good way out of here. We haven't got the map yet. Oh, hi. Yeah, you look a little unprepared. But I think we're going to attack you. Oh. Okay, then. Uh, you want to do a good old... Eek! Let's hit you in the back. How about that? Mm. Yeah. Come on, then. Is that our mini boss right there? Oops. Okay, I have a fairy, so I'll just take you if I may. Thank you for your assistance. All right, now we can go back to the start if we wish. Let's see, he has only one eye and you still opt to stab him in the back to really make sure he doesn't see it coming. Well said. Yeah, that's a good point. Usually eye means you're gonna stab me in the eye. Okay, so, you know, how long until we can lift things? That's the basic sentiment here, isn't it? Ah, here's this tip. First, defeat the imprisoned Paul's voice. Last, the skeletal Stalfos. That was an addition. I think the original text was just last Stalfos. Oh, hello. That really feels kind of creepy. My brother says Hinox Hinox. Have I been saying it wrong? I notice you always say it Hinox. Um, in Kana, it would be he Hinox, wouldn't it? So I think maybe we've both been saying it wrong. At last, you got a map. Press minus to look at it. All right. Oh, look at this. It is indeed a bottle. This is one bottle grotto. And there is our boss. So I'm guessing we're going to come up through here. That's got to be where the instrument is. Somewhere here there has to be a pathway to get through underneath to here. And there's that treasure chest in the first area that we still don't have because we can't lift things. Sajin says, ah, dinner is done. It seems to be quite a relief to you. And chips. That's a classic. That was uh, about halfway to Bow Wow's dinner. You got 20 rupees joy. Yes, that's right. Still bottles everywhere. Bottles, bottles everywhere. One key left. We actually have used our keys. Hello. Hi, ghost. Oh, that's not going to help us. But what is going to help us? I'm guessing a little light in this room will help us. Gosh, you're... The other one just seemed to cower away. All right. Magic powder is awfully useful in this place. I didn't expect that. Ah. You found the power bracelet. At last, you can pick up pots and stones. The game seems to empathize with how long you need to wait for some of this stuff. Oh, and we don't even need to equip it, which you would have in the original Zelda. Here goes. Oh, yeah. One of Link's most iconic moves. Throwing valuable clay pots at other valuable clay pots. I kind of thought we could originally jump onto these. I think we can walk across them if we land on top of them. Like from falling an entire floor. Okay. So that could very well be a key. 
don't really need a heart. That's a key, all right. Okay. Yeah, if we do this... There we go, now we can walk over them. That's how we learn that's possible. Get off me. You have a satisfying sound, though. You're well protected. Okay, are we at the point? Yes, here we are, this room. Okay. So, first to defeat the imprisoned Paul's voice, last Stalfos. Which means we're not allowed to beat the bat first, I believe. Okay, I think we have to throw a pot at it. That's their weak spot. There we go. Does that give us the big key, perhaps? Also known as the nightmare key? Yep. Look at how... Look at how mushroomy kingdom they look. They're not used to contending with a sword. That's for sure. It's a very cute Goomba. And a nice piece of power. Does this take us to the boss? Is this the underground passage we were looking for? No, it just takes us here. Okay. What's the good in that? Is that just a shortcut to get back? Hmm. Where are we relative to? There it is. Yeah, maybe that is just a shortcut. That's kind of cool. Another 50 rupees. This feels obligatory. I have to do it at least once, right? Alright. So, this is proven pretty quick, I think. We can make our way back through here. Link is getting more acrobatic. So we still don't have a pathway to the boss, but I'm guessing we'll find that here. Because where else could it be? And a guardian acorn? Don't know if that'll last us through to the boss. We could head down the stairs to maximize our use of it, but I think we will destroy all the pots instead. Who knows what we'll get? Probably nothing. I don't know, maybe some rupees, right? A fairy! We still have one in reserve. Okay, what have we here? We can travel with pots. I think we need the weight of this one to hold it down. I don't suppose we get to take it with us. No. All right. Are we ready? We breeze through it. Let me tell you. Ah, yes. 
a bottle. Hello. Oh, look at how wonderfully you're rendered. Ho, ho, ho. I'm your bad guy this time. Ho, ho, ho. His name is Genie. Let's keep it moving. Not quite sure what he's doing yet. He has eight. Uh, I can't move, but I am still all right. Your little sword won't break this bottle. Even the walls here look tougher than that dinky thing. Well then, why don't we throw you at the walls? Nya, nya, you can't hurt me as long as I have my bottle. That's right. Seven, eight. There we go. We broke my bottle. Why, you, you make me hopping mad. Looks like we can hurt you now. only the second dungeon. And I did opt for normal mode and not hero mode. You got a heart container and so on and so on. Thank you. Oh, I love this. Such a good little rehash. This looks like the... Is this the conch shell? The conch horn? There it is. There have no pot-based shrines in BOTW. That's why you have to play both. That's where they get you. Well done, Bow Wow. You even waited here for me. All right. I guess we better try and get you back to where you belong. You certainly didn't help us. You beat the boss, and these are the consequences. I mean, I suppose there's only one consequence. the only one I'm conscious of. That's right. Conscious. Looks like the town is back to a peaceful state. Do we put you here? Can we go in and give you back? Bow Wow really liked, liked that meal. That's right. Oh, I really appreciate what you did for my poor precious Bow Wow. You are such a nice boy. How can I ever repay you? I know. 
I mean, it's a Nintendo game, so she's going to keep looking. Yeah. You got a reward from Madam Meow Meow. Dot, dot, dot. L -l Lucky. That's all there is to that story, I guess. Yeah, you're happy to be home. But we still can't take you, huh? Well, at least you told us where one spot to dig is. So that's nice. Marin's over by the rooster. Let's talk to her. I just love to sing. What can I say? What do you like to do, Link? Mm, there it is. The Ballad of the Windfish. One of the simplest and prettiest melodies from maybe any video game. You can probably tell the melody is nice, but when the chords are behind it, it's you can really you can really hear it. Here sleeps the flying rooster. That's right. Not even with our bracelet. Really is a tone set by it. Although Marin doesn't go up the octave, she's not a soprano in this game. Apparently. Uh? Oh! You give that Yoshi doll to my baby? Yes! Uh? Oh, thank you! You are indeed a generous person. Oh, I will give you this in return. Whoa! You traded, I mean, ribbon. Ribbon. You traded Yoshi doll for a ribbon. Hold on. Yeah, she's very, she has a very nice voice. Maybe you can trade the ribbon for something else. What? Why wouldn't we want the ribbon? <laughs> yep, those are my boys. I'm Papa. Pleased to meet ya. That's the guy who says he'll be lost later. This is nice. Looks kind of like a place that's fit for kids, you know? We got some toys, got some crayons and paper to draw on, teddy bear. They have a lot of beds, actually. Are they planning on having more kids than one? I don't know, it's anyone's guess. Wow, you can now cosplay as Birdo. Exactly. Is Yoshi the Birdo wife? No adults like toys or art supplies. Precisely. <laughs> or four small beds. Can we get through here now? We can lift boulders! That means we could have explored more on the way back, actually. Also means we can go in here. It's the dream shrine. Should we check? So that's going to be difficult. We Could we do this? No, we have to actually move to make it move. We could try jumping from here. Or we could do this. Well, now we're stuck because we can't jump two, two tiles. Hello. <laughs> Gets based by boulder. Bashed. So, the message you eventually get is that you're not really equipped to do that yet. Although you can try to make your way. Okay, so we could explore further north. 
But really, now we're able to go out into the this area of the world. So I think we'll do it. Now we get the good old Legend of Zelda foraging music. What is that? Okay, so... Let's see. Can we lift the skulls now? Yeah. So I don't think we want to attempt to push that rock from the left. Let's see if we can push this. Yeah, then we can do this. And this. More... Investitude. So we could go... We could push that down, but that wouldn't really do much for us. I don't think we have a way to do it. But there has to be some way. What are we missing? Let's have another look at it. We don't want to do the chest. We can get around here. Like this. Replace that attitude with investitude. Precisely. Hmm. We could move that. Oh yeah, of course. There we go. Push that down, and we can lift that guy. Then we can get our piece of heart. Hooray! Another phone booth. So close to the village. But that's alright. It is a short walk, to be fair. Hmm. Right, telephone booth. Ooh. That's a place where a key goes. A slime keyhole. Let's see. Strange energy is pouring from here. You should find out what it does. That's probably nothing. It put us down. All right. I'm guessing that's a warp point. Later on, it will be of more use when we have more than one of them. Now, is this a path back to where we've been already? I think it is, right? Yeah, this is where these dudes were... Now we can make our way here. We check the grave. What does it say? Anything? What about if we... No. It's just a lone grave. It looks like. Looks like something we might bomb. I don't think we're getting that soon. And though you could clearly reach right through and take it, right? Where does this put us? In the graveyard, of course. This doesn't seem like the safest place. 
Hi, Ravens. Now we're in the Tabal Wasteland. And another piece of heart already. Did I see Dompe over there? There he is. He kind of disappeared for a minute there. And another house. Oh man, there's a lot going on here. Alright. Not to mention pieces of power. So this must be Monbo's pond. Oh, this is Crazy Tracy. 